Hello everyone, my name is Danielle and I am from Cageless Readings. I have a bit of a cold still, so my voice is a little different from normal. Um, it's a little like, ra it's not a raspy actually, just nasally, <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, there was a lot of cat distractions in this pick a card reading, lots of cats yelling, so if you get triggered by that, or if that annoys you, Unfortunately, this might not be the card reading for you. Um, I actually refilmed it, so I filmed it twice because my cats like exploded across the table, took all the cards out that I had like pre pulled and stuff. So I was like, you know what? This is a sign that spirit ain't happy with the messages I got. <laughs> so I redid it. Um, so this is actually the first time I did an intro where I actually know what happened in the card reading. So anyways, what we ended up looking at, the breakdown was, is that I pulled animal cards for what, um, what you were working through, the energy you're working through, and then I pulled guidance cards for just advice around it. It is a pretty short reading, I mean, it was my second go around, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I still feel like the messages were nice. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna introduce your pile selection. So pile one is this dragon card. Ooh, if you like somewhere you're like, ooh, ah, uh, I don't know why. We're just, we're being weird today. I'm being weird today. Um, starfish is pile two. Beautiful. Very nice. And pile three is this scorpion card. I don't know why I just heard someone make a meow sound, so... Anyways, like I said, we're being weird today. It's okay. It's the vibe. It's the vibe of this whole reading. A little chaotic, a little weird. Um, yes. <laughs> if you want, there's also um, an option to choose with a song. Just because I can't play it on my YouTube channel without having copyright issues, you can see it under the timestamps for the description box. In the description box below. So, like, sorry. Let me rephrase that. If you go to the description box, There'll be the timestamps for each pile, like pile one, two, three. Underneath that, I'll say choose, choose your pile by song, and that's just like a song that I like. Um, literally, like was shuffling your cards to, or I didn't, I forgot to do that for some of you, and I was like, put my phone on shuffle, and I was like, all right, give me a song for this pile, and I just trusted that was the right song, so. That's how that works. So you can do that if you want. Um, so just take a few deep breaths and then choose your piles, get grounded and connected in your intuition. That's why you take some deep breaths. And if one of these jumps out with you or to you, then go for that. And sorry, my language is so weird today. Um, yeah, it does continue in the piles. So sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in your card readings. <laughs> Hello. Oh, sorry. I put the card slightly too high. Um, hello, Pile 3. So, my friends, um, you chose the Scorpion card, and then you have all these, like, bird cards, which is really interesting. So, um, I love being an intuitive reader. <laughs> I kind of feel like the message you get as intuitive could be, is probably totally different than how someone would read these cards. I don't know. It might be interesting. Ooh, I shouldn't, like... See, you know what? I only know other intuitive people. All my friends are super intuitive, but it would be fun. I don't know. This is so funny. I guess we'll see if this happens. Maybe I'll try to see if I can find a tarot card reader who will like just read cards and then I'll intuitively read them because like I don't know how to read tarot. But I do know some like secrets about it now. I shouldn't say secrets. Tarot isn't a secret. But like I took a really speed course on it like a one night course where they just went over like what things symbolized and i was like wow this like makes sense but i don't like rules <laughs> so this is like cool but like not for me right now because i like being able to just like say whatever i want to say um and not follow any rules or be like oh this card's supposed to mean this so this is what it means so anyways i don't know why i'm going on this rant maybe you're debating if you want to read tarot or oracle cards um if this is a thing you're struggling with i mean this isn't the situation at all i was like picking up on but we'll talk about it since it's coming up um tarot cards are great for logical thinkers like people who want like rules and systems because 
um, there is rules and systems. There still is like intuitive work to be done with it because a lot of cards can mean like, like career or relationship or something like that. Or like what area of your life are you being called to discern this pentacle moment or king of swords in reverse moment is that in like their whatever moment but I guess you would just pull more cards to see if career cards are coming up emotional relationship cards I don't know they're, they really find tarot very interesting um I will learn it someday I think I actually am glad I started with oracle cards because um I think I would have like I'm really bad at memorizing things so if you're like me and you're just very like intuitive you're more emotional than logical it's not that I'm not logical. I should also say that. I actually do feel like I do think about logically, <laughs> but I'm definitely like, you look at my like natal charts and astrology, you look at all my sign placements. I'm an emotional person over a logical person. I have a handful of like thinky planetary places, which I'm kind of grateful for because I feel like the mind burdens a lot of people. I see that a lot in card readings. So I'd rather be burdened by emotions that I can express and release and work through than my mind. So anyways, if the, yeah, moral of the story, <laughs> if you're looking to read cards and you're more emotional and intuitive, I go for Oracle cards because then you don't have to like memorize all the rules of tarot. Um, and there's always guidebooks, but I feel like Oracle cards are all about what it means to you. And what, like, when you see that color, does it make you think about a chakra being blocked or being good? You just kind of have, you just get a vibe for it. Cause if you're intuitive, you just like learn to trust yourself and you just make an agreement with yourself to trust yourself. So yeah, I don't know why we are talking about this. Let's get into your card reading. So that was a detour. I wanted to say like what I find very interesting about this is like these three here are all like super light producing critters, <laughs> birds, <laughs> types of birds, firefly, we're gonna call it a bird. <laughs> it flies, it can be a bird today. Um, <laughs> but I just feel like, I feel like burnout is a serious issue. Like a burnout would be a super serious thing because all these things are about radiating, radiating, radiating. And the scorpion, which find, I find very interesting, is more solitary. So we have all these things over here about like trying to put all this stuff out in the world. And then we have a scorpion, which to be in balance needs to have introvert, introverted moments, like is an introvert by definition, is kind of how the scorpion is depicted, at least in this card deck. Um, it could be different in other ones because um, it is like associated with fire, I think. So that's kind of interesting that it's put in an introverted perspective. So it has friends, it needs, but like it needs alone time. Um, and it also is like lost train of my thoughts as I just like went on that tangent about <laughs> oracle cards. Maybe that was the purpose. Um, okay, yeah, I guess what I was going to say, like what I'm picking up here is... I feel like, so the energy of why I think the scorpion came out for you is I think there's something that you need to speak up about um, with some friends or family member or something like that. I don't know who it is. That doesn't seem to be specific or specified in this card reading because it could be different for everyone as it is a general for the card reading but it does come out very clearly that there is essentially like a throat chakra block. So the nightingale is all about singing with your heart. So it's like your throat chakra and your heart chakra are connected to each other. And um, pretty much like speaking and doing things in alignment and, you know, like just, I don't know how to put this. Like, it's like being very clear and straightforward with what you need and want and the direction you want to go. And then the hummingbird and the firefly are all about like, like being very likable, enthusiastic and easygoing and like people, people want to be around, you know, and they're very artsy and very creative. So you have all this like creative creation energy. Um, I actually, oh my gosh, now I get it. You guys are definitely emotional people like me, for sure. Like I should see them with Scorpion. Like I'm thinking of Scorpios, like the astrology sign of Scorpio, where it's like water, right? And water is very emotional, um, which is awesome. I have a Scorpio in my chart um, as well. So cool, cool. I guess we might be homies. All my major signs like that we go off as a moon uh, rising are all Aries. So I, I'm fire. <laughs> and then all my like 
like Venus and all that shit is Scorpio. So I'm just a lot for some people, um, but not you because you guys, I think, get me. <laughs> but anyways, you're very, very passionate. And there's, there's just like, for sure, like, this is so not what I intended this reading to be about. Like, this is supposed to be like a situation or like an energy you're working through. I guess you're kind of like working through this throat chakra block and like connecting your heart and your throat to each other. Because if you are like someone who has a lot of Scorpio, we, we, we like, it would be really good for you to get your heart aligned with your throat chakra because you just need to express yourself. And Scorpios, I think, are actually like really good with their words. Like they know how to use them beautifully. They know how to say the right things so that it's not taken um, harmfully. So it's very interesting. Um, you might be a younger person, maybe you're a younger person, or there was just a disagreement with someone. I'm not sure. This is kind of an interesting situation, to be honest. If you are resonating with having a lot of Scorpio um, in your charts and in who you are, um, yeah. But anyways, I kind of feel like you're gonna like this situation that you're in. If if you don't voice what you need to voice to this person or this group of people, like I feel like it's just gonna like it's gonna make you a bit bitter in life. It's gonna like I just feel like it just you know whenever we're not dealing with our emotions and we don't release them, they can kind of start to make us feel a little sick. So like, I feel like you're like, it says here, like you are like a hummingbird and a firefly. Like you're like a fun, you're not usually an intimidating, you're very lovable. You're just like <laughs> sought out person. But I wonder if right now you've been feeling like a, a grunch, a grunch. Is that a word? A grump? A grump? Is that the word I'm looking for? A grinch? I don't know. Maybe a word like that. Some word with a G. Like, I feel like you're just not feeling like yourself. You feel like easy to irritate. Um, and I feel like, I don't know, like I, I see like fire there. Like, I feel like you're, you're worried like that your anger is going to get the best of you or something or your frustration, I think, is going to get the best of you around a certain situation. So I really feel like the challenge is actually this Nightingale's um, card coming through. It's like, this is, these are really here to say like, you're not normally like this. And if you, you're doubting yourself, like you're not, you're not normally like this. This is just because um, this is really coming to surface. Sorry, that's my cat Millie meowing at the door because she wants to go outside. Um, so she yells. <laughs> so I feel like this is really calling for you to release that. And it does like give you some advice in this card itself about like singing. So if you know how to play an instrument, um, or sing a song, um, or you do sing, like that would be very therapeutic for yourself to get out um, some of this frustration, some of this emotional frustration. Also, you might just be very like, maybe like slam poetry. Oh my gosh, I could see you loving slam poetry, like you writing it. You don't have to say it to anyone, but I feel like that just taking time to like put on paper your frustrations in a catchy way. Like, I don't know that I feel like that that vibes. I want to say that slaps. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. You might be, yeah, I think you just are a younger pile. And I think you're a younger pile because of like who you are innately in your astrological chart and who you are. You should have a really good connection to your voice. Um, it's like destined for you. <laughs> That's what I want to say. You're destined for, for good communication skills because it's just, who, yeah, who you are. I don't know. Does that make sense? It does make sense to me. I don't know. Hope it makes sense to you. Um, so we have advice cards for you. Sorry, that's Millie still just yelling at the door. Three stories down. It's really impressive. Imagine how loud it would be if she was up here. Um, <laughs> So advice, we have take baby steps, go slowly like the patient turtle. Do not try to rush or force anything. Baby steps are golden. They will lead you to your fondest goals. Identify emotional triggers. Um, we absorb the emotion of others that remain unhealed in ourselves. Notice your triggers such as anger and fear and gently begin to heal them. You know what's interesting too? It's because I was just flipping through this animal, animal well, uh, that wasn't clear. I was just flipping through this animal card deck because I don't use this one that often and I haven't used it in a really long time. And I was drawn to read what the crow meant of all things. I don't know why. I was like, I'm just going to read this card. Um, and it talked about people with crow energy being able to be like very intuitive, very psychic. 
um, and being able to see in the past, present, and future worlds. But if they were ungrounded, um, kind of getting confused in it all, not really knowing what was like, it's almost like having a hard time knowing what was said, what is actually happening. And I don't know why this is kind of what I'm thinking here. Like this makes me think of reading that, like identify your emotional triggers, see what's pulling you into the past versus what's actually happening now in the present. Um, and don't get too caught up in possible futures. Um, sorry, I'm wondering if she'll quiet down. One second. Carol! Well, she I called her name and she zoomed in here. I almost should have left the camera on. It would have been funny, but I turned it off. Yeah, yeah, we heard you. We all heard you. How are you doing? Hush, Dwayner. Yeah, you want to go outside and play and roll on concrete? Um, loves that stuff. Okay. So yeah, yeah, so I do, I feel like you guys are very like, you're very intuitive. I feel like you could do what I'm doing here um, very easily. Um, there is just like, yeah, I just feel like there's a youthfulness to you still, like um, a youngness. So it's like, don't be hard on yourself. Like, like you even said, the baby steps, like, I feel like you're just gonna get there. Like, it just takes time. Like I had to do a ton of like self-growth work. I still have to do a ton of self-growth work. <laughs> I like literally have a list of things that I gotta like circle back to and do some journaling and reflection and meditating on and reprogramming on. You know, it never like really ends, but like I guess I've identified them. <laughs> so that's good. And then I'm sure in like a few months there'll be new ones that I will identify that I didn't realize were there too. But that's just like the life, right? So baby steps. We're not all perfect. We're gonna get there when we get there. And all we can do is just try to have fun and enjoy our lives and just speak our truth so we're not burdened by it um in a compassionate way i'm not worried about this this is like i know you i know how you i know that this pile knows how to use their words wisely and sincerely and compassionately i don't know just the nightingale card i just feel that so strongly um yeah find your purpose so when you feel like you don't fit into this world remember that you're here to help create a better one your tender heart is a treasure yeah so this is like i feel like this is reminding you this is like who you are this little hummingbird fly firefly energy maybe you should even read what these cards are because like this is the energy you're you're struggling with right now it isn't like who you're always gonna be um but this is who you really are at heart. I feel like this really is a reflection of part of your soul. You have a lot of aspects to yourself, but this is just like how you're often perceived. Um, you know what? Let's do that. Let's look at them quickly. Um, hang on here. So hummingbird. Um, we have positive, enthusiastic, spiritually resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird resides an endless well of energy and positivity. The hummingbird's secret is that it has learned where to gather nectar and it returns to those sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. This sacred elixir springs from many sources, but usually involves nature, creativity, and exploring spirituality. Um, to feel in balance, one, sorry, one feeling in balance, they are smart, curious, and loves to learn. So I feel like that is like really who you are. And also says to bring to balance when you're feeling out of balance, um, take a class or learn something new. And this firefly, it should be pretty close to this. Yes, look at that, just a page away. Okay, um, the firefly is inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. The firefly contains light of a thousand stars. It's pure, radiant, illuminating. This high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. Therefore, the firefly card indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There's firefly energy behind every poem, song, and invention. Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it graces our path. What can you do to support this precious, elusive light? And then it says when it's in balance, there's lots of writing, creates and brainstorms, um, and to bring into balance, write a poem or draw. So yeah, I feel like it's just like even honoring yourself, like if you're not always like 100%, like you can't be that high energy all the time. You can't be creating like the best songs ever all the time or the best slam poetry all the time. Like it's just, it's creative energy that you harness and you know, ebbs and flows, like everything. Okay, so watch for the cosmic wink. 
Magic comes when spirit winks at us. Stay aware of synchronicities that provide unexpected answers. Positive forces are always at play in your life. So I feel like, yeah, it's saying like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of spirit winks at you. So lots of like repeating numbers, lots of, I feel like you probably see lots of birds, <laughs> flying animals. I would look up the meaning of that. It's so fun. Yeah, because even was the crow. Yeah, first, and the nest. Okay, guys, you got to start looking up the spiritual meaning of birds and what they mean. And also, I did hear a rumor that birds are sent by angels because you know, that actually makes so much sense to me and I can't believe I, I didn't know that. Um, and I mean, like, it probably, like, whatever you believe in, you can believe sends whatever message, but it's just ironic because angels literally have bird-like wings and it never was mentioned in any of the angelic courses I took um, years ago the connection to birds. And we even talked about it. We're like, why does everyone in this class see so many birds? And we're like, I don't know. Hmm, we'll have to think about that. And we never came to a conclusion on why we all saw so many birds. And this is the great irony is like, we we're all taking a bunch of different angelic courses and angelic healing and working with Archangel this and that. And yeah, hilarious. It was like a hilarious, like duh moment. Um, but anyways, so. I think you might work a lot with angels <laughs> or your chosen guides, but just, I would look up the meaning. If you know the name of the bird, I would look up that specific bird. Okay. So anyway, it says, let yourself receive support. It's often easier for empaths to give than to receive. Allow others to support you. Experience this pleasure of their caring energy. This might be what you need to voice about too. As we look at this, this is like similar colors. <laughs> got the yellow, we got the blue. So I feel like this is kind of maybe what around what like the block is. It's like maybe needing to create more balance in a relationship dynamic. But I'm gonna trust that you know your situation and where what you're needing to voice because it literally talks in this nightingale nightingale um card about like literally having something stuck in your throat like words stuck in your throat so you literally could be struggling with like excessive mucus <laughs> right now maybe you're a singer and that's like really frustrating or like lymph nodes or something and i would like look at the energetics of that if that resonates with you like what um what are you not saying that you really need to say? You need to get off your chest. Here's like an interesting idea. If you knew today was your last day and tomorrow you were going to die, what burdens you to not have said? And then I would start there. And then I would maybe like write out some things because that might give you some clear clarity, clarity, <laughs> clarity on what you're not saying that you need to say. Um, I know it's an extreme example, but like it's the best way to like really be like, yo, well, did I just, do I need to say I love you to someone? Have I not been honest with that? Or do I like, do I need to tell someone that I'm like worried about this? Do I need to voice something? It weighs on you. So it's, it's literally weighing on your heart, whatever this is. So anyways, that's all I have for you, pile threes. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the cat noises. They're just a thing on this channel. Um... And I hope you have a good one, I guess. Good luck. Good luck. You've got this. Go find your voice. <laughs>
um, create like a safe, supportive environment, super family orientated, um, just like very likable person, a very stand up person. And then the zebra is all about being curious and wild. <laughs> and um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, being wild and just very easygoing and I don't know I just I don't know if everyone has this but like usually there'll be someone who like has a lot of charisma that you meet that you really are just pulled towards that's what I think of when I think of zebra people like they're just very like attractive in in like an energy sense like you're just you want to get to know them you want to hang out with them you want to be in their energy they're just so interesting and it's because they have such a curiosity and a fascination with life they're very happy that you just want to be around them um and then tarantulas is all about following your dharma following your soul purpose so do you see how these actually all seem very correlated they're all about people really being attracted to these people but when they're out of balance, which can happen for all of these cards when they're not following their intuition, when they're not doing what their soul wants them to do, and they're doing it for the sake of other people. So that's definitely coming through pretty strongly as like being um, the challenge in your life is sometimes putting yourself first before others. Um, and you should put yourself first before others. <laughs> I also like that your starfish card came out when I chose the ocean deck for you or the sea deck, sorry. I chose the deck and then I shuffled cards and I was like, what's a good card for pile two? And the starfish one came out and I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> I love this. So yeah, I guess I just feel like I need to pump up your ego a little bit more here and just say like, you're very, very loved by people. You're very easy to get along with. You're like that cool kid I always wished I was <laughs> in high school or junior high or whatever where like you just make friends easy and you're very likable um the thing that I did want to as you saw like these two cards were reversed and how I saw that was just that I wanted to take that into consideration that maybe you weren't feeling like your job what like you weren't maybe loving the job you're in as much and you weren't feeling as curious about life or as in love with life as you normally are so that's kind of why I left them reverse for a second there just so like I would have that note so that could be something you're struggling with sorry I'm like covering my cards I restarted this reading this whole reading once already my cats ran across and I had all the decks set out and they like threw all the cards at each other everywhere. So this is actually round two of those pick a card readings. So um, might also be why it's a little bit shorter because I just killed a lot of time. And then I was like, there's just a lot of interruptions the first time I recorded it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna take this aside from the universe that I, I got the wrong vibe or something. And we just need to like change things. <laughs> and it's okay, it happens all the time. I've heard other people in Pick a Card Reading say that where they're like, my video just stopped and I have to re-record this whole thing or, you know, et cetera. So it doesn't just happen to me, which somehow makes me feel a little bit better, but then also worse that everyone else is also wasting an hour or two of their life re-recording things <laughs> so sorry maybe you do that maybe you're a pick a card reader and you have this happen to you I don't know why I'm talking about it but anyways so we have your guidance here so we have expansive you connect with the whole fluid I like this card so much because to me like water is just about like being adaptable and like not being rigid in any aspect of your life, just moving with the flow as you feel called to it. Um, so may you shift and transform. We have space. May your heart and your and your scope expand. Courageous. May each breaking wave build your courage. And awe. May you see the sublime in every day. So I really love that you got awe because I just feel like that's like what you're trying to get back into. Sorry, that's my cat scratching a piece of wood. Oof, she's not done yet. She's really getting into it. Now she's stretching while hitting on one claw. Okay, she should be quiet now. <laughs> I feel like she wants more attention. <laughs> she's interesting. I feel like you need more attention, but you might have a lot of people who want your attention. I mean, just judging by your energy and how likable you are, I think a lot of people want your want you to give them your attention. Um, I feel like they just feel like they're on top of the world when you give them your one-on-one -on -one attention. It's definitely something I get for this pile. And I just like can't stop, but I feel like it's the zebra energy in you that does it. The zebra and the starfish. 
For sure. Because the zebras, like, you really see into them, and it's, like, from a curious place and unjudgeable place. And then the starfish is because they put, they, like, I feel like people often probably put you in a, on a pedestal pile, too. I'm so sorry for that. Like, I just feel like they always look up to you. It must be really hard for you to feel equivalent or like people are like hearing you out or seeing you. Um, I don't know for sure if that's always the case, but just like the energy I feel like people put you up in makes it hard to feel like people can really relate to you or they expect more things from you and it's not really fair. Um, cause you're just a human too. <laughs> you're a human who maybe doesn't love their job right now and isn't feeling the love and joy for life they normally feel and just needs a little pep talk, you know? Like, you kind of need what you are to other people. Um, and I'm sorry, maybe you don't really have anyone who can do that for you. So, your advice cards. Um, expansive, fluid, space, courageous, awe. You know what? I feel like the biggest one here would be the center card, space. May your heart and your scope expand. I feel like you really are just needing to set some space. Um, so that you can kind of like ask yourself, what are your dreams? What is your dharma? What is your soul purpose? What lights you up? You know, you're a very creative thinker. You're very imaginative. I know this pile is a visionary or a dreamer. It just radiates off of your soul. You can't be this curious for life without a great vivid imagination or vision, ability to vision things or flow with things. I think that's just, I mean, you as a starfish, you literally float around on the bottom of the sea. Like <laughs> this is you. Um, this is also just like energy you're working through, but you know what, for this pile specifically, I feel like this actually really um, emanates a really big part of who you are. Like this isn't just a phase. You really are someone who is charismatic and very curious and very supportive and very easy to, like I think you're very loyal. You're very, very loyal. And I feel like you're just needing someone to give you compliments because like, I keep wanting to give you like your advice, but I keep coming back to like, let's say what's great about you. And I think it's just because people just don't say these things to you and you would just need someone, to, you know, like I said, be there. You know what? We can pull another deck. Let's see. What, what do I got here? <laughs> Cards to pump you up. Um, let's see. I don't have all my decks around me right now. Um, 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 gratitude? Oh, archetypes. I think I have an archetype. You know what? Let's go for another animal card deck. My classic. I always have it around because I love it so much. Um, here's Toby. Okay, you've probably seen this on my channel a lot. <laughs> let's just say, let's just do a little pump up. This is what I think you're needing right now. So, <laughs> how does the world see pile two? Okay. Look at that. We have dog friend, um, love without condition, um, energetic, enthusiastic, inspirational. They choose to be happy and a protective friend. I feel like this is the perfect card, guys. This is a perfect card for you. I really think people do see that. And it doesn't mean you're like obedient. I want to be clear. Someone there was like, oh, I don't want to be a dog. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're obedient. It literally just means like, you're just like, you're just so freaking lovable and so loving. And you just, I feel like it's really the unconditional loving aspect that they feel. And like, I think you kind of have like an easygoing kind of lighthearted, youthful nature. It doesn't matter your age. I think you just are more youthful and lighthearted in your energy. And people really sense that. And they're also very attracted to that. There's a lot of things about your personality and your soul that attracts people to you. Lightheartedness, for sure. Easygoingness, for sure. The love that radiates off of you, for sure. I think you boost people up and give them lots of compliments. Um, I think that, for sure. Ooh, and then look at that. We have nobility. Sorry, this is a card I was kind of hoping that wouldn't come out. It says, celebrate your accomplishments with humility. Um, crowned with success, powerful, ability to conquer challenges, limitless. So this is like a bittersweet card because like I was kind of saying, like I feel like people just know you're going to get after and be successful at whatever you try to get after in life. I sorry, I said that word twice, whatever. <laughs> English, whatever. <laughs> but it just like, this is kind of thing where sometimes you can get a little pedestal -y or they can put you in a little bit of a, a hierarchy or a ped I think a pedestal is the word I'm looking for here because they do like, they just, they just feel like you, they don't understand how you're so able to be you. Like, I feel like people are just like, wow, you are so good <laughs> at being human, but they don't see that you struggle and that you like have like some solar plexus issues too sometimes and you need some compliments and you need people 
people who love you back and be as open and vulnerable and encouraging with you as you are to them. Like, you really need people to be like, I love you too. Like, I'm sorry. They are not getting that. Okay, shall we do one more card for how people see you? How do people who love you see you? Intuitive. Yeah, you know what, that also does make sense. Um, sorry, I guess you can't wait to see these cards. Um, intuitive. Um, it's all about listening to the song of the soul, trusting intuition, just knowing, um, being very busy, but still taking time to be in solitude. I actually think that's something we do need to do more of. Um, might be a bit of advice card there and recognizes the uniqueness. Um, and that you are loved. Yeah. So I just, I really do feel like people just feel like you're very empathetic. You just get them. Whew. Yeah. I think you could be a tarot card reader or some kind of, I for sure, whatever you do for work involves helping people in some way with their emotions, listening to them. That just feels like a job for you. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And maybe if you're not doing that, maybe that's where you're feeling this beaver energy in reverse. Um, is that you're not feeling like you're able to support people or maybe you're feeling burnout because you keep getting the same people coming back and you're like, what is the purpose of life? <laughs> this is just so circulatory, no one's growing. I don't know. I just feel like for sure there is a little bit of um, blocked energy that you're struggling with. So anyways, let's get on to your advice cards. <laughs> So expansive. So this is where I feel like you need to take some time. You're being encouraged to take some time to really sit with yourself as I know you know how to and ask yourself, what does bring you joy? Like just start thinking about things that gets you excited. If you did something, do you feel excited about that? If not, probably not for you. Um, I feel like you're going to find a list and then don't be afraid. Like have courage, like literally have courage and expand and grow. <laughs> I know it's so funny to say So like, it's so easy guys. Just uplift your life, change shit, quit your job. If you don't like it, go into this other job and just move with the flow of life. Have courage, be expansive, take the space you need to know which direction you need to go in and let just like that awe and that like uncertainty of life, like fulfill you with that curiosity again. I feel like this pile loves a challenge. Not like so much a challenge, but like the unknown. And like, you're someone who can't sit in consistent cycles of routine for long because you're all about growth, um, I think. Because your sole purpose seems so tied to like learning more and growing more and growing more in your own consciousness. So I don't know, maybe that's a projection I'm putting on you, but I feel like that's just who you are. Um, don't actually need to go out and quit your job immediately and all that, unless you've been thinking about it. But like, you know, this is just a Oracle card reading on YouTube. You do as you feel is right for you and not what I'm saying, just because I'm saying it. Um, but I do just feel like there is a call for you to sit down and then see where you can like courageously take some steps of change um, and trust that things will come in as you need them. Um, trust that you'll find where you're supposed to be because the ocean will just move you where you need to go, right? Um, yeah, and I really do feel like that's how you're going to find the awe again. May you see the sublime in every day. Yeah. I think, like, changing something up in general feels like gets you out of, like, the routine feeling, the stuck feeling. And then that in itself, I feel like, helps you feel more present in your day-to-day -day moments, even if they are, like, very routine actions. Some of them still, I feel like you're just more present because there's something different. Something has changed about it. Also, if you're feeling really stuck, maybe switch, like, to a more intriguing podcast or something on your drive to work or your walk to work or bike to work. I don't know what you do. I don't know. I feel like get other people who are excited about life, get them in your energy because I have to say, I think you're the one who's most stoked in your friend group and you need to find some other stoked people. Other people who are like, yeah, I'm going to get after it. So maybe you literally listen to like Tony Robbins and his like two minute pump up before you go to work or something or right when you wake up. Oh, that's Charlie meowing. You're like, I know you love your stoke and you just need to find your stoke again. I don't know. Now I'm talking to you like you're a rock climber, bro. Maybe you're rock climbers. I don't know. I feel like most people who watch pick a card readings aren't rock climbers though, but it's cool if you are too. That would be awesome. We should be friends if you are because it's hard to find. 
rock climbers who are kind of into this stuff, which is okay. Um, but yeah, anyways, I do feel like I'm like broing you like I would bro some rock climbing bros. So anyways, bro, I keep saying a lot of repetitive words. My English is not on point today with this with this whole reading, not just yours, all the files so far, but that's okay. I'm sick. I'm going to use that as an excuse, <laughs> which is funny. I feel like you'd be like, it's not a good excuse. I don't know. Um, you're right. It is just an excuse. I'm just not being that intentional with my word. I'm not speaking impeccably with my word or something. I don't know. Maybe like the four agreements. Maybe you want to read the four agreements or listen to a podcast about the four agreements. I don't know. You really want to expand though. You need something to change. You need some sort of change. So expansion expansive i know it says expansive but i feel like expansion go with the flow take your space act courageously to find your awe again yay okay that's all i have for you pile two i hope you have a wonderful day and you seem like super awesome people um yeah hope to see you around hello pile one so i actually started recording this and then my cats through i had all the decks on the side <laughs> um for all the piles and they just threw everything everywhere um all these scratch marks i guess you can't see them there's a bunch of scratch marks on this table now <laughs> just my cat's going absolutely insane um naturally so i was like you know what let's just restart this let's just like do a redo because maybe the vibes are weird or something so um the other thing you're probably wondering if you guys are just like dealing with a lot of like bullying energy I don't know, like, that was the only thing Kim could kind of get it, like, people, like, basically what happened was, like, my one cat got really irritated with the other one, seemingly out of nowhere, so, like, I guess you could say she got triggered, um, and then, like, started attacking my other cat, and then the other two were just wanting to play around, and then somehow there ended up being like a three-way fight on top of the table one who was like angry and triggered the other two who were just trying to play and have fun and then were like holy shit now i'm getting attacked so i don't know have you been feeling like that or something <laughs> who knows maybe it's just a random situation happening I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to start off a little differently than I did the first time, though. And I actually want to read to you from the guidebook what this dragon card um, symbolizes, because it's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal, this card. So this is like the energy that I have that you're like working with or working through right now. And this is your guidance on how to do it. So for the dragon card here, it says seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego the dragon sees everything its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last it watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world when dragon energy is awakened we are courageous visionary and can easily drop into witness consciousness Drop into witness consciousness. That's exactly what it says. Sounds like a weird phrase way to say that. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into the energy, or sorry, into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing that this omnipresent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. Let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride. As we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see, ev sorry, see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their agni is dim. Agni is... described as inner fire or sacred intelligence may even just just the mention of dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you so the subtle energy of dragon lives at the navel center in the manipura chakra manipura translates to the city of the hidden gem and behind it gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion the sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both the inner and outer dimensions. So really interesting. So it sounds like 
with this card coming through. <laughs> and actually even the moth, you know, moths are attracted to the light. Ooh, it's so interesting. Um, <laughs> and then we also have courageous. So this card represents courage to see the inner and the outer world, to see our inner world and our outer world, to see things as they are. And not like, I kind of feel like that's a good card for saying, seeing past illusions or the illusion of what we were wanting to see in something. Um, so maybe, uh, I don't want to quite say like seeing the rose covered glasses, but like maybe seeing people for their best potential, um, or their highest potential. You're instead of doing that, just seeing them as they are today, where they are today. Um, and then, yeah, the moth is so interesting because I feel like it equally talks about the, uh, the shadow attributes and the light attributes and kind of going out of a time of seeing all the, the our shadow sides, like maybe even like having healed some of our inner child wounding, our inner belief systems and coming to a place where now we're in a time where we can just enjoy the more playful lightheartedness. Um, like not not pushing ourselves too hard to 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 always like be working on ourselves. Does that make sense? Like there is like a need for play. Otherwise you can burn yourself out and you can kind of start to create a block where you don't feel good enough, right? Where you're always like, I'm not good enough. That's why I always have to work on myself. It's like being in the waves and flow of life where you come out of like a time of reflection and I want to say release. Like I just, when I see this moth card for this pile, I really feel like it was like you really did do some healing around your identity and your value. Now you saw yourself, like you're perceived, like your I am statements when you're like, whoever you identify as, I feel like you did healing around that. And now you're coming to a place where you're ready to like flourish. So maybe if you're working on a value, on being valuable or worthy of something, I feel like now you're coming into a time where you're ready to start to receive new experiences from the world. So maybe different opportunities that before you didn't think you were worthy of accepting or never even thought that you could have or experience. The lion, yeah, also I feel like that is just like courageously moving forward. And there's such a draw around both your sacral and your solar plexus chakra for this pile. So solar plexus, hi, Emily. Hi, girl. Hi. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the solar plexus is like those I am statements. It does actually control our digestion. Um, <laughs> it's also where we can hold a lot of stress. So if you have like allergies or sensitivities to food, sometimes it could be worth checking out that, that uh, chakra system. Um, and it just, sorry, it also seems interesting to me because this card talked about digestion, how we digest life. So that's really interesting. I wonder if you've struggled with some um, food allergies or digestive upsets in your, in your life. <laughs> it's pretty common these days, so you wouldn't be surprised. Um, and then the golden egg, I just, I don't, you know what? I almost should look up what that means in this card deck because I really don't use this animal deck that much anymore. Um, I don't like it. I just really like the other animal deck a little, a little bit more just because, um, it's like a little more user friendly, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and also the guidebook to, to getting to know these cards better. Like the guidebook doesn't have numbers and it takes forever to find things. And that just frustrates me a little bit. So I don't use them that much. Um, and then I don't know the cards as well. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna sneak a peek at her intention. But how I'm seeing the golden egg, just intuitively, is I just am seeing it as like a rebirth of your identity, right? Like here's you doing this healing on who you think you are, who you think you're able to be in this world. I really feel like this was like breaking free of your own limitations around what you could and couldn't do, who you could and couldn't be. It really feels around the who you could be. And then this is like now like this rebirth period where you're like changing who you identified as. And it's like really saying like, you're ready, like new beginning, new nest, <laughs> and a higher value of yourself, a greater value of yourself. 
Okay, I finally found it in this guidebook. So it says messages at the center of the heart, the, the unstruck sound. So it's okay. So it's the true home of our home and self of our soul. Um, and it's in the heart. So mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I'm just kind of skimming through it. It sounds like the intention of this card is just talks all about having needing time to go within to really know um, what our soul wants and like what our soul sound is, which is interesting. Maybe you're into singing. Um, but uh, yeah, it really just talks about having to, you needed that time to go within to get reconnected with yourself. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. I feel like this is like, I don't know, I just feel like you're really coming out of like, I don't feel like it was quite a dark night of the soul. It doesn't feel quite that heavy, but just like you were just very hard on yourself. You were just like, but I think that was part of your process to really get through and change the things that weren't serving you anymore. Um, so now you can come into like this lighter time and look at that. We have bison totem. Life is showering you with abundance. Like this is an amazing card because this talks about like, even what I'm just saying here really reaffirms a time of abundance. Like if you think about a buffalo or a bison, sorry, I guess is what the word is on this card. They're like some stocky, hard to tip over, <laughs> strong, herd animals, very protective, very, I think of them as very wild. Um, and they're, yeah, just abundant. I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know if you've seen a bison. I guess it depends where you live. I have actually seen bisons a many a time. <laughs> um, I guess I'm lucky. Uh, but yeah, they're like, they're sturdy. So this to me just talks about being really grounded and rooted in yourself, being so rooted in yourself that this is where all this abundance and stemming is like your belief in yourself and your worthiness and knowing what you deserve brings in prosperity in all aspects of your life. Because now, you know, you're deserving of those opportunities and that there isn't someone better suited for them. You are the one suited for them. The opportunity came to you. And if you want it, it's yours. It wants you too. If you don't want it, then you don't need to take it. Someone else wants it more and they'll take it. But it is like it's offered to you because it's for you. No need to second second guess that, um, if that makes sense. And then the stories, I leave you the memory of the healing tales. This is such an interesting card because I feel like it's even saying you're rewriting the stories you've told yourself about your past, about your future. Um, that's a really big thing. Like, I just, I feel like this pile really used to get caught up in what they thought they could do. Like, there's such a theme around that that's coming through about who you thought you had to be, what you thought you had to experience. And it's all around the heart too. So it's like realizing that like, if you didn't want something, you don't need to go that way. You don't need to have that. You get to write your own stories. You get to like blossom and flourish and grow and constantly change them if you want. Like that's such a thing. Like you don't need to know exactly what you want. You're allowed to change as you get older and older. And that's the thing with this pile too, with the wild feminine. When I look at this wolf, I mean, I'm not saying this is gonna be for everyone, but I feel like for this pile, you might be, um, in like you're not you're not in your 20s anymore that's for sure um there's like this this like lived through wisdom that comes through strongly for this pile like physical wisdom learned from living a life so honestly if if a lot of you were in your 50s they wouldn't be surprised um you don't have to be and <laughs> I'm sorry if you're not in your 50s and you're like, what are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. It's just like, this is like the energy of this pile is it feels like lo lots of life experience through like through the physical body. We're not talking like old soul, new soul stuff. We're just talking about this lifetime and it just feels like you really, really gained a lot of wisdom and clarity. Um, and you really need to lead with that more in life. Like that's actually what I keep getting too. Like with this wild feminine, I actually think about this woman I met once at, um, at a retreat we did. 
um, I, I did with a couple other women, and there was a woman there, and her energy was so beautiful. She truly embodied the energy of someone who just loved herself completely no matter what. For any wrinkle she had, for every curve of her body, for any scars she carried, like she like literally radiated this into the environment. And it's just like, I feel like I get that same imagery for, for you, <laughs> for this pile. Like truly just being so okay and happy and loving yourself just as you are today is like super healing, even for others around you. Like I can't help but see like how there's like, there's these other, other people around you and I feel like I'm seeing this wolf like literally like their energy like teaches other people it's okay and to accept themselves more so that they don't need to go on this journey the same way that you have um and experience the deep shadows of of these limiting beliefs around value and perception it's very healing and you just literally embodying that is very healing I also wonder if this pile has kids. You don't have to, but there is just like a really strong parent energy. So I could see you having, I don't know, like if this pile has sons, I would believe it. Like, I don't know, it's funny, like I I wanna say that this pile should have daughters because I, I feel like the, the energy of, of you as a viewer is very like, being okay with who they are is coming out like in the more feminine energy, divine feminine energy. But I do feel like for some reason that's being mirrored to sons. So I don't know, that could be super specific. It could be to like son-in-laws or grandsons or something um, or nephews, but it just, I almost feel like you being in this feminine energy in this really healthy way is actually teaching these younger males um, phys physical males, um, is kind of how I'm seeing it, to respect the feminine in a different way, teaching them to love it in a different way. I don't know, it feels so generationally healing, so you take that or leave it as, as it may. Like I said, sometimes it gets so specific that I'm like, I'm sorry, this might be just for one person here. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just happens and then the path of beauty like this card is so tied with this wild feminine energy um walking your path of beauty elevates your feminine soul like just so transformative like you really really have done a great job learning to love yourself and the other thing I keep seeing too is like I don't know like I keep seeing like DNA and like all these chakra systems I, I really feel like this is like healing a generational wound for your family. So I just, I wonder if it's been really hard for, um, I don't know, for, I feel like I'm, I, it just feels tied to the feminine. So it doesn't need to be for like, literally females, but it could just be feminine aspects, like being, just being and not doing, being emotional dealing with emotions but they're also such a strong thing around appearances and like being okay with how one physically appears i don't know that is like a really big thing here um but it's just like i just feel like there was quite a wound to the feminine in this family line even in the males like i feel like they had a really hard time with being okay with having a feminine side or having a feminine um like, I mean, we all do, right? We just all do. So I just feel like it's been really out of balance in your family. And it's really tied to coming back to that. And like, this does feel like those stories that you're changing for your family. And learning to respect. I don't know, that's a word I keep getting, learning to respect. So hopefully that makes sense to you, Pile One, because it keeps coming through, learning to respect and changing the stories and being the writer of them. Um, Spirit of the Earth, have faith you are supported. I love this because the same thing, these two cards are very connected and it does talk all about like when you're so strong and grounded in yourself, like things just find their way to you. Abundance just finds its way to you. It's for you. It can't miss you, right? And that's where it comes back in again. It's like all those like super cheesy things that it says like, like if something rejects you, it actually respects you right? It's actually, they respect you enough to say, we're not in alignment with each other, that I don't want to waste your time. So I'm going to let you go and find the opportunity that, okay, Charlie, maybe we don't need to meow at the door. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. 
sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like, they're just like not going to waste your time. You can find the right person or thing that does align with you and that will serve everyone better. So I just feel like that's the kind of energy you're in. What's meant for you can't miss you. I just keep getting kind of all those catchy rhymes or you know, things like that. I really feel like you're embodying it. And I see you as like this crystal attracting in all that you need right when you need it. <sighs> I love it. And also, I just feel like it's also, once again, I don't know why this is even what f makes me feel like this pile is a little bit older. It's just like, there's like so much like nurturing energy. Like, I feel like you are like grounding other people in new beliefs and ways. I don't know. That's just going to have to make sense to you as it makes sense to you. And even the dragon, like that seems like something that comes forward when we're like a little more evolved in our life and a little more mature. But, um... Yeah, who knows? Who's to say, right? <laughs> Only you know. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I should offer this pile. I kind of think this is all I've got for you. It's just a little quick shorty for you. Um, I hope that brought some clarity or at least made you feel a little bit better. Whatever you were needing to hear today, and maybe I'll catch you in another pick a card reading.